Okay, welcome everybody. We're going to do our first video recording of Microsoft Flight Simulator FSX in Google Earth. So we'll be taking off at Tampa International and we'll just fly around Tampa. And this is the standard Cessna 172. So I'm not using the Microsoft Flight Sim scenery. This is going to be using the scenery from Google Earth. So as you see up here in the top right corner, I have Microsoft Flight Sim open, and this is Google Earth in the background here. So we're going to go ahead and give her some throttle. Hope we can stay on this big runway. It's kind of hard controlling when you're not having the cockpit directly in front of you. And as you saw there, there is a little lag. Let's go ahead and give her full throttle. That looks like it's about 60. So we'll start pulling back. And as you see from these 3D buildings in Google Earth, this is just by far, I think, the absolute best scenery that could be in Microsoft Flight Sim. Look at all the cars on the roof of the airport there. So real. So everybody, I'm Kevin from iFlight Sim. I haven't done a lot, but I've been uh, doing Flight Sim stuff for probably the last 20 years. But not a lot on YouTube. So I think I might start getting a little bit into it. But for now, we're just going to fly around Tampa. So that's going over the airport. And if you're familiar with Tampa, this is Tampa Stadium coming up here. The Yankees training stadium here on the left. And we're going to be flying uh, over Dale Mabry Highway here. As scenery goes, this is just incredible for Microsoft Flight Sim. I wish there was some way that Prepared 3D or even X-Plane 11 could uh, get together with them and get this going in Flight Sim. Let's turn over here and go to uh, the hospital. This is St. Joseph's Hospital coming up here. This whole compound over that's the Bucks training field right there in the bottom left. This is the hospital I was born at right here. St. Joe's. What I find very interesting is flying regular Microsoft Flight Sim or even X Plane, as I'm sure most of you are aware, when you go over waterways they just don't feel like waterways. This is the Hillsborough River coming up here. And I'm going to go ahead and take a sharp turn. Oh, little stutter. That's alright, we're not flying by the books. But this really feels like we're flying over the river. I've never had this feeling before in any flight sim. This is like we're going over the Hillsborough River, for real. It's just amazing, amazing scenery. This is uh, coming up right here over this bridge, that's Columbus Bridge. On the right here, that's uh, Rick's on the River, right there, all those docks on the right-hand side. We go there every once in a while and have some uh, food, beers. This is Eulalie up here on the left. I believe that's Blake High School right there on the right. Very nice artsy school. This is 275, Interstate 275, and we're entering the downtown area. You can see the Sykes Building coming up here and the uh, Bank of America Building. Performing Arts Building right here on the right. 
That is University of Tampa. Those uh, interesting buildings over there to the right used to be the old Tampa Hotel. That's the NBC building there on the left with the big tower. We can't rotate the view, so that's kind of hard. Can't really look around, have to look out the front view. That's Convention Center and the Platte Street Bridge. Over there to the right was the Tampa General Hospital. We're coming up on Harbor Island. I used to work at that little building right there, or the big building, uh, after I got out of high school, probably about 18 years old. This is flying over Harbor Island. A lot of really nice houses down there. Over here to the left is the port of Tampa, the entrance of the port. See, it gets very industrial over here. A lot of ships come in, drop off pretty much everything. And this is Davis Island Airport. It's called Peter O'Knight. I've actually flown out of there a couple times in uh, Cessna 172s, Cessna 421. Very cool airport right on the water. Little beach down there you can go have picnics. It's always nice. Now the one problem with this is that when you're flying the simulator, trying to land at one of these airports that are on Google Earth, it gets a little squirrely. It will work, but it's not really synchronized properly. So the airport in Microsoft Flight Sim and the airport at Google Earth, even though everything seems to be almost exact, the altitude seem to be a little bit off from the spot where the plane touches down its wheels. So we'll go ahead and slow down here, and we'll go ahead and try to land at Peter O'Knight. You can see up here in Flight Sim, I can turn a little bit and try to look. Let me see if I can see in Flight Sim. Line up on the runway. I don't know exactly what runway that is, but we're going to go ahead and give it the first stage of flaps. I'm going to come in a little hot and hard. But we'll try it out. And go ahead and give it the second stage of flaps. We're coming in a little fast, but that's all right. Give it last stage. See that bouncing? You can see the top right corner, Microsoft Flight Sim is on the ground. I actually was watching the runway on the Google Earth side. I should should have been watching the runway at the top. On the Microsoft Flight Sim. Well, we did it. I'm gonna break here. Uh -huh. that doesn't really have to stay on the runway. Okay, well that's it. Short little demonstration there of uh, Microsoft Flight Sim in Google Earth scenery. Pretty cool. Thanks for watching and hopefully I have some more videos in the near future. Bye-bye.